This crypto native web browser is about to explode. If you use Google Chrome or Safari and you're in crypto, this episode is for you. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of the Beam Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be revealing a crypto native web browser that anyone that uses crypto needs to be on because it looks like it's ready to explode. Yeah, look, if you use Google Chrome, Safari, Bing, etc., and you're in crypto, this might just be the platform you should be using moving forward. And mm. we'll cover why. Yeah, 100%. I mean, look, the timing is perfect for this project. Crypto is back in favor. Bitcoin is up. The markets are hot. And guess what happens now? Millions and millions of people are about to be onboarded into crypto and Web3. And what is the place that everyone is going to go to download their wallets, find about the new altcoins, do research? They go to a web browser, right? So most people are probably using Safari or Chrome or I don't know, people are using Microsoft Edge. Probably not. <laughs> but the point is that these web browsers are not built for crypto. Sure, there's extensions and plugins and stuff, but when you talk about security, privacy, Web3 native features, what you really want to do is look for a crypto and Web3 native browser because it's going to give you the edge on everyone else in crypto and make your life a lot easier. And this is the project we're about to talk about today. We always talk about how if you want mainstream adoption, you need to make it seamless and easy. Something that the everyday user already understands. Yeah. And with a browser, everybody's used one before. Crypto is picking back up. The altcoin market is ripping. Bitcoin is ripping. Now I have a bunch of friends messaging me. Hey, look, what wallet do I need? I see you're staking your bit tents or whatever. How, how are you doing it? Like they have all these questions. Now I can just point them towards this. I'm like you can swap on here. You can stake on here. You can store it on here. And browse, yep. right? With all the additional features of why browsing on this platform is better than br browsing on, you know, Chrome or something like that. For sure. So the project we're talking about today is Carbon Browser. So Carbon Browser, quick recap, founded all the way back in 2016. So this they've been building for a long time. They've got over 7 million downloads, over 60,000 daily active users, which is significant. And the big things that um, attract me to Carbon Browser is they are focused on privacy, security, and decentralization. Now, everyone knows how easy it is to get hacked in crypto, scammed, all that kind of stuff. Carbon Browser, as we will get to later in more detail later in the episode, to so make sure to watch to the end, they've built in some really interesting privacy features and security features that are going to allow you to kind of prevent all these things and prevent for your, from your crypto getting hacked, which is one of the main mines to, you know, avoid in crypto. Yeah, the crypto, crypto hacks are awful. Um, you know, seed phrases and all these things. You're clicking on the wrong links. And that's one of the things that draws me to Carbon Browser is the they automatically block online ads and website trackers. Mm -hmm. So by blocking the website trackers, that means that your you know your sensitive wallet information is not necessarily exposed to data leaks and stuff like that. For sure, yeah. I mean, think about like what are the companies that operate the prevailing web browsers, Apple, Google, Microsoft. What do we know they do? They mine user data and use it for their purposes and their profit. And when you're in crypto, you know, a lot of it crypto, you know, you want to stay anonymous in some ways. You don't want your user data being exploited because, you know, you can get SIM swapped or hacked. So Carbon Browser, right off the bat, they are not mining your data. They are not exploiting off your data and they're keeping your user information and your, your browsing and all that secure and private. For that, for me, that's a game changer. And like, if you're in crypto, that can prevent you massive losses. It's just the fact that everything's in one spot, you know, 
if I'm trading Ethereum or I'm trading something on Binance, Smart Chain or Avalanche, whatever, they have a swap and a bridge built into the browser already. Yeah. Like I don't have to go somewhere else and go do that. So it makes it really easy for us to use. Another thing that really caught my eye is the VPN. You know, we talk about different private sales and whatnot. <laughs> Not saying that you guys should be doing it, but yeah. there is a VPN available if you ever want to access for c- sure. certain things from around the globe where it's geo risk you're resti- restricted yeah. in that area. Well, even think about sometimes we're traveling and we want to do some sports bets. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes we're, we use Rollbit for sports betting and it's like, okay, Rollbit is banned in this country. Fire up the VPN, we bet. So if you're using Carbon Browser, you don't even need to download a VPN. It's already there. And as you mentioned, they've got a multi-chain bridge, cross-chain wallet. It's all built into the browser. You know, obviously we are pretty close to crypto experts now. We're very, we're very well versed because it's our job. But as you just mentioned, you know, friends that are coming into crypto, it's just a lot for them to download wallets and browsers and bridges and everything. So to have one thing like Carbon Browser, which is everything in one place, that's going to save a lot of people time. Well, one of the biggest questions people might ask is, isn't there other Web3 browsers out there that people can be using like Brave? Mm -hmm. So why would we use Carbon versus Brave Browser, for example? For sure. So we'll we'll pull up a graphic here which shows kind of the, um, the comparison between Carbon Browser, Brave Browser, and also the, uh, you know, the prevailing web two browsers. So right away you can see carbon browser is faster, way faster than brave. They're, they're clocking in at 0.5 seconds where brave says 2.34, the other browser at like four seconds. Um, carbon browser has better privacy features already built in a uh, brave browser. You need to pay for the privacy features. Right. So again, car- carbon browser, free privacy features. They got uh, ad block native, uh, all kinds of like, they're integrated with the ENS domains, all that kind of stuff on softball domains. And then one of the kind of things and maybe the next segue into this part of the episode is the very interesting and potentially lucrative part, which is the Carbon Browser token, right? Right. So they have different revenue streams. Um, And you mentioned the token. I believe it's available on BitGet. So if you want to check out CSIX, I Mm -hmm. believe it's a token ticker. You can find it on BitGet and you can save on referral fees in our description below. But targeted sponsors on the homepage so you can save money uh sorry they generate revenue that way which is good for the token price uh search suggestions they also have integrated fees through the different extensions and there's a lot of extensions like they already have 16 blockchain apps through alaf zero caspa optimism and injective right right they also have multiple DeFi um apps built in as well through one inch lido finance poker bridge chronos so all these integrations are fees that help drive the CIS X token. Yeah, we, we always like to see projects and tokens with real utility. Um, so the CIX token, you can actually earn the CIX token for just using the browser, engaging, being part of the community. Um, so if you're accumulating tokens, then you can pay for, they also do have premium features on the Carbon Browser, which can be paid for in the CIX token. There's all kind of, uh, as you mentioned, incentivization, participation programs. There's also staking available. So if you're a long-term believer in CIX like we are, you can buy your tokens, you can stake your tokens. And look, as the Carbon Browser becomes more popular and as more people are onboarded into the ecosystem, this is obviously not financial advice, but it's just going to put more uh, more eyes on the CIX tokens. So I think what they've built is an interesting product and the token integrates beautifully into the ecosystem. Yeah, look, I mean, look, it's, a one, it's an all-in-one spot to do everything from your wallet, browse, stake, swap, bridge, Tons of integrations with some of the major players in the space with some big partnerships, advisors and investors from Binance Chain, um, pools and trust swap. There's a lot of boxes being ticked and it's an all one place to do everything. For sure. And there's two reasons why I think that the timing of this episode and the reason that we wanted to bring up Carbon Browser and the CIX token to you guys now. So number one, when, it talks, when you talk about mass adoption, obviously you need to have apps and websites and stuff like that and products out. Where's Carbon Browser at right now? Well, the Google, uh, the Android version is out, the app. The mobile, sorry, sorry, the web app. So, you know, if you're on your laptop, your computer, the web app is in usable beta. So you can download that from the Carbon Browser website. But here's the kicker for me, the iOS app, right? Because as we know, a ton of people in crypto are iPhone users. So if you want mass adoption, if you want eyes on the Carbon Browser, you need the iOS app. Now, as many people may not know, Getting an app approved to the Apple Store when you're in your crypto is difficult. Yeah. But I know that Carbon Browser has been working diligently and the iOS app is on track to be coming soon. I can't put a date on it, but we always like to get into these projects before the masses hit, right? 
So if you're looking for a upcoming catalyst with Carbon Browser, look no further than the iOS app getting out to the masses so I can personally download the Carbon Browser on my iPhone and start using it for my crypto needs. That's a massive catalyst. Yeah, no, I'm excited for that because I'm an iPhone user, so that would be easy to actually, you know, be using it on a daily basis mm. versus on my PC only. Yeah. Look, it's a free open source web browser that protects your privacy. Yeah. You know, it ticks all the boxes. For sure. And the, the one... The one catalyst, again, you know, everyone, obviously, everyone's just like adding AI to the yeah, end of, of the course. thing. But as a browser, I think we're going to see a massive demand for people. You need AI features built into browsers, right? Mm. You're already starting to see it. We open AI is integrated into Microsoft Bing or Edge or whatever it's called. Google, it's all, it's all happening, right? So Carbon Browser, they know they can't be left in the dust. So they are just partnering with uh, Mirada AI, Boom, all the artificial intelligence, machine learning features are coming into Carbon Browser. That means generating images, a chatbot, animations, face swap, all the AI tools that are going to become a daily part of people's lives are now going to be available in Carbon Browser. So not only are they making all the right moves and releasing their new products, their platforms, they're integrating AI. The CIX token is integrated beautifully into the ecosystem. Carbon Browser ticks a lot of boxes. And look, they've been around since 2016. This isn't some new project that's going to be, you know, going away. These guys are here to stay. Yeah, their lead dev, their core, like core development team, 15 plus years at Google and Mozilla. So yep. they've already built browsers and stuff in the past. They know what they're doing. Yep. Hence why they have 7 million plus uh, downloads. Mm -hmm. so. And if you do a comparison, I'm not sure exactly <laughs> the numbers, um, the comparison of the market cap from, CI, from CI, CSIX to the Brave Browser token. Right. Brave Browser token, their market cap is way higher. Right. But for me, when you look at the projects, what are they delivering? What features? What are the devs doing? What's the community like? Carbon Browser, for me, obviously, this is not financial advice. Um, I just think that the Carbon Browser has has more of a, you know, an upside yeah, in the yeah. future. I understand. And, and that's why we, we chose to officially partner with Carbon Browser for a sponsored episode to bring this to the attention of everyone's masses. You know, um, I think it's a project that we both like. We hold the CIX token. And uh, yeah, thanks to Carbon Browser for this. Yeah, I'll personally be using when it hits iOS. I look forward to using that. Hey, make sure you guys tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.